You're probably watching this video on a smartphone, but do you know the kind of display your smartphone has? Is it an LCD panel or is it an AMOLED panel? In today's video, we're going to find out all about it. Hey, what's up guys? This is Nilanjan and I lead social media at Xiaomi. I'm very, very excited to share that we are always on the lookout to bring the absolute best for our Redmi family, which is why today I'm proud to share that we are bringing back the Redmi project with a bang. In the Redmi project, we aim to talk about everything Redmi and dive a whole lot deeper into the parts that are used under the hood of our phones so that you can flex that knowledge in your group and look a lot smarter just like me. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's always in front of you but isn't appreciated enough, the display on our phones. So the one area in which the smartphone industry has constantly made a lot of progress is with display technology. We have gone from an LCD to an IPS LCD and now to an AMOLED. Liquid crystal displays or LCD as they're more popularly known is a type of flat panel display which uses liquid crystals in its primary form of operation. On LCD displays, the light is typically generated from a backlight. In IPS LCD, the liquid crystals of an LCD are aligned to the display, resulting in superior viewing angles. However, when it comes to AMOLEDs, there's a light emitting diode that illuminates when current passes through it. On AMOLED screens, each pixel is its own light source meaning that no backlight is necessary. This allows the screen assembly to be thinner and have more consistent lighting across the whole display. Kya? Nahi samaj aya? Well, understandable. Let's go back to basics. Now, all three displays are made up of pixels. Pixel, short for picture element, is the smallest unit in a graphic display or a digital image. A pixel is made up of three sections called subpixels. Their three sections are red, green, and blue. In short, RGB, which are your primary colors for display technology. The colors that you see on your display are a result of light passing through different pixels at different intensities. With me till now, great. So to really understand what all of this means, we need to understand the finer details. We're now going to look at these displays under a macro lens. As you can see, on the LCDs, the blacks are never truly black because the whole panel is backlit and light is still coming through. Notice how the pixels are stacked here. Moving on to the AMOLED display. Since there is no backlight assembly needed, the display can power off individual pixels that are to display the black portions on the image. Notice the pixel stacking here. Do you see the difference? This arrangement of pixels is what makes AMOLED displays a class apart. So if you're with me, you would by now know the difference between LCDs and AMOLEDs, how LCDs come with a backlight display, whereas AMOLED comes with individual pixels that light up themselves. You would also know about the different types of displays that you get in a smartphone, starting from an LCD and IPS LCD all the way to an AMOLED display. Armed with all of this knowledge, I hope you will be able to make the right purchase decision the next time you're on the lookout for a smartphone. But before you leave, as always, I have an interesting challenge for all of you. I'm going to be placing two phones here side by side. Let's call this phone A and let's call this phone B. I'm going to ask the crew here to turn off the lights and then you get a chance to guess which phone features an LCD display and which one comes with an AMOLED panel. Pro tip, the blacks are going to look a whole lot darker on the AMOLED display. Let me know your answer in the comment section below. Don't forget to use hashtag Redmi project with your entry. Now, if it were up to me, I'd probably go with an AMOLED display just because it suits my entertainment needs. The AMOLED display also has a lot of other benefits, which I'm going to cover in the next episode of Redmi Project. 
I sincerely hope you learned something new today and you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the bell icon for instant notifications and subscribe to the Redmi India YouTube channel for more such videos. This was me Nilanjan and I'll see you guys in the next one.